What's up guys and welcome to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Okay, the new ships update has been out for a few days, also known as Ships 2.0. And there are many, 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 many videos out there on YouTube showing the intricacies and the basics of the changes and what has gone on. Yes, the Geonosian ships have had a great rework, so have the Republic ships, but I am here to tell you that the original best ship in the game, in my opinion, is still the best ship in the game and how to use it effectively in the new 3v3 format to increase your arena rank, whether you're a beginner or an end game player. And of course, I'm gonna show you who it is and that is Biggs Darklighter. For the beginners, you can find him in the Galactic War Store. That is where I suggest you get him. Please get him right away. Not only is he a great ship, he's a great character to have overall in the game. And you can find his ship in the Fleet Arena store, but you can also find it in the Galactic War store quite a bit too, and that's where I suggest getting him. Get his ship up there right away. And I'm going to show you how to most effectively use him to increase your arena rank big time, your Fleet Arena rank big time, and to hold spots in the Fleet Arena as well, as in not decrease very much. In the previous, uh, when it was 5v5, I would go from one to 20 every day. Now I find myself dropping only a few spots, maybe five or six spots with the lineup that I'm running right now. So I'm going to show you why he is still the best ship in the game. And it is because of this ability right here, Daring Assault. Big Starklighter's X-Wing recovers 40% protection and taunts for two turns whenever an enemy becomes target locked. Okay, one of the only taunting tank ships in the game, and man, is he a good one. So again, Let's say you have uh, Darth Vader's TIE Advance, he uses his basic, and he uh, inflicts target lock on another enemy. If he's not taunting, he's going to taunt. On top of that, he's going to recover 40% protection every time target lock is inflicted on an enemy. He is going to keep gaining and gaining and gaining and gaining protection. He could last the whole battle while the rest of your ships obliterate the enemy's ships. I'm going to show you how this works, but first I'm going to show you the team to use to use this most effectively. So I'm going to start with, you can have three ships to start at the beginning of the game to have in there, and Biggs is definitely the one to ha one of them to have in there. His basic, deal physical damage to target enemy and inflict target lock for two turns on a critical hit. So he can inflict target lock with his basic as well. Number one. Okay, now of course I use TIE Advanced 1. Why? Because his basic Darth Vader ship, it inflicts target lock and it can't be evaded or resisted. And it does this every time he uses his basic. He may not have the most health in the game, but once he continue to, can use this, it's going to start the wheel on getting big set up for the rest of the match. That's why I have him in there, because of his basic right there. Now, I also use the TIE Silencer as one of the other starting three because of his ability to stun with his basic, but he is not necessarily a target lock important character. I'm going to show you the reinforcements you need to make this lineup work. In my opinion, with the ability to utilize reinforcements, it makes winning on offense a lot easier. You just have to strategize. The most important ships to have is reinforcements, number one is the Phantom. Let me go back just a little bit. A week ago, I made a video on the number one character in the game, and that was Grand Admiral Thrawn. Well, you need the Phoenix characters to unlock Grand Admiral Thrawn, and you need their ships to unlock the Chimera. So you're gonna already have this the way it is, or you should. For beginners, Phoenix is the best faction to have in the beginning of the game. Definitely go after them. The most important aspect is of the Phantom ship isn't that it only, it, isn't only that it works well with the ghost, it's Sabine's ability, sights locked. And it states that inflict target locked on uh, inflict target lock on target enemy for two turns with a 70% chance to also inflict target lock on another enemy that isn't target lock. These effects can't be evaded or resisted. If target lock or target enemy is empire, also inflict speed down for two turns, which can't be evaded. So it's it can't be evaded, it can't be resisted. It's a target lock. One, it's going to increase the protection and give Big's taunt if he didn't have it. And two, it could potentially target lock two enemies, 70% chance of doing that, which is going to increase his protection even more. So that's going to give him 80% bonus protection. Wow. Okay. So first reinforcement you should have there is the Phantom because that's most likely the first ability you're going to use. Next, the creme de la creme, the most important ship to utilize with Big's 
is the ghost. And this is the new reinforcement ability, uh, reinforcement abilities, which are basically like Zetas for ships. This is the one you should do first, and this is the one you should level out to level three, the Reconnaissance Reinforcement Ability. And remember, these ships have to be in your reinforcements. They can't be there to start the battle because this won't work. It states, as it enters battle, inflict critical chance down on all enemies for two turns and inflict target lock on enemies who suffer from ghost critical chance down, which can't be evaded or resisted. So... Let's say there's four enemies on the field, which could happen by the time you have this guy come in. And it grants critical chance down to them. They are going to, you're going to have a mass target lock inflicted on basically all of their ships. And it's going to, it's going to boost B or, um, Biggs' protection so much. You could get him from zero all the way back up to full protection. It's awesome. Utilizing this reinforcement ability with Biggs will allow you to basically use him throughout the whole battle. And as again, your other ships can obliterate the rest of the way. Plus, it's a good ship to have the way it is. This ability right there is the most important aspect of making this work effectively. There are many, many, many other ships in the game that can inflict target lock as well. When I ran 5v5, Imperial TIE Fighter, First Order TIE Fighter, I had those. Their basics had a chance of inflicting target lock. And Imperial TIE Fighter was much better because its ability to evade was much higher. The other ship you could throw in there if you want. The, the, I'm telling you, the TIE Advance, the TIE Silencer, um, Biggs Darklighter, those are the three you start. Then you have the Phantom, the Ghost. I would say Slave 1 should be your other one. His basic has the ability to inflect target lock. It has a 50% chance or something like that. And you can also throw in Biston's U-Wing because it has an unavoidable... Inflict target lock that's unavoidable again. And... and uh, inflicts it for two turns can't be evaded or resisted and it can go stealth so again that's one i could you could also have in there but again the phantom and the ghost are the most important in my opinion now we're going to go into battle and i'm going to show you how this all works i am at number four i had gotten one when it was payout time this is the only uh this is how far i've fallen i'm gonna run with the silencer tie advanced one and big dark lighter, lighter like i said earlier and my reinforcements are phantom ghost slave one and imperial tie fighter so, into battle we go. Okay. I'm guessing their Imperial TIE Fighter is going to attack first because it's usually the fastest in the game. I should get a stun here with my TIE Silencer, which I did. Now I should be able to give some taunt to Biggs, which I did because it was target lock. Their ship has target lock. I get to use the secondary with Biggs. Get to do some good damage. Is going to come into play and use that. I'm going to use... I'm going to use the boost ability, give me some offense up and defense up, and give them some offense down and defense down. Okay, so their bigs has actually gained quite a bit of a protection, but since I have advantage up with my TIE Silencer, I think these missiles will be able to take him out. And he did. Good move. I still have my bigs in play. I'm going to use the basic with TIE Advance 1, give some more protection to my bigs. Everything is working wonderfully. I bet they're going to bring in Slave 1, because that is usually the reinforcement brought in by most people i personally am going to bring in the phantom one of the ships has target lock i can potentially give it to the other two save my ghost here in a little bit let's see what happens yes i got target lock to the rest of the ships as you saw the protection went up on bigs 100 percent. he's back to full health doing some good damage right now on their slave one again watch what happens here gonna give some more protection to bigs awesome letting him last this whole battle come in and finish the slave one off which i did they're going to use their offense up it was evaded by most of the team let me see here yeah let's use it yes let's use the phylon 7 tractor beams come in and take out their tie advanced hit the give again give more protection to bigs what more can you ask for Use his special, see if I can... Oh, again, he called in tie, uh, tie Advance to assist, giving more protection to himself. Now we'll come in and use a basic with Tie Silencer. This is ex working exactly the way I wanted it. I'm going to bring in the Ghost. Yes, they only have two ships, but I'm going to show you how it inflicts target lock and gives more protection to Biggs. Boom. Look at all the protection he got from inflicting target lock on all of them. Now I get to inflict target lock again. All the protection on Biggs. Yep, I knew he's going to use that. And now I'm going to use my missiles and almost take him out. I lost my Biggs there, but as you can see, let's go like this. I do an attack that's guaranteed to hit. 
He lasted 99% of the battle and took all of the damage mostly. That's exactly how it's supposed to work. Keep spamming that target lock. Keep giving protection to bigs. Let the rest of your team wipe out the opponent. Obliterate them. And speaking of which, the Phantom and the Ghost are actually pretty good offensively themselves. So there you have it. That's how it's all supposed to work. And I am going to quickly going to show you, with the characters, I don't have the Phoenix characters maxed out, geared up, gear 12, or Zeta. I have Ezra, yes, but my Kanan, he's at gear 10. Sabine, gear 10. Chopper, gear 9. Hera, gear 8. And Zeb, gear 8 as well. These aren't maxed out characters. Wait until I do get them maxed out. I'm working on them right now when you get their abilities, their star level, and their character level in general, plus all five dot mods on them in each spot. That's what determines their uh, the ship strength. Look at that. It worked, and I don't even have the maxed out characters. So as a beginner into a late game player, please start farming the Phoenix. Get the Ghost, get the Phantom, get Bigs, and you'll be able to increase your Fleet Arena score substantially and be able to get more crystals to help you progress through the game. I hope you enjoyed the video. I love doing these how-to videos. Please smash the subscribe button, click the little notification bell next to it so you can be updated to every single video I make. They're going to be awesome. There's going to be more of them. I also make Marvel Strike Force videos if you're interested in that. So, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out, and may the Force be with you.